Hey YouTube, Eli here. Today I'm doing a review of Windows 11. So first I will go through features and a few things I like and don't like, and then I'll go through bugs I've found. Um, I will go kind of fast through these. Um, so yeah, uh, the first thing, the UI is a little more bubbly. Um, so if I open settings, I'll show you what I mean here. Like the uh, outside corners of windows and things are, are a bit more curved and a lot of these icons are are just kind of more bubbly overall, um, a bit more cartoon-like. Um, the next thing, if you click on this little icon, the little two squares here, it'll let you create a new desktop. Um, I think that might have already been a feature, but it's a little easier to get to. It creates a second desktop here, and you can add a different theme to that and things. Um, I think that might be helpful. I haven't used it, but I could see how it would be useful. Um, next, if you use Microsoft Edge, um, and I'm not going to show you this on my phone, but um, you can pull up an article or a page or something on your phone, and then you can share it to Microsoft Edge. Um, that might have already been a feature, but um, Windows 11 kind of calls it out that you can do it. Um, and it finally uh, seems to be pretty helpful. I know that um, working between your phone and laptop previously have not been very handy. But I have tried it and it did um, pull up pretty quick um, and I already have my laptop open. If you had your laptop closed, I could see how it might take a, a bit longer having to get signed in and everything. Um, next, the notifications section looks better, I think. Um, so notifications here, it doesn't pull up this big black bar anymore. Um, it just looks more like how I think a notification section should look. You can clear them all. Um, looks a little, you can clear individual ones. It looks a little more like how I think it would on a phone. Next we have Auto HDR. Um, Auto HDR, uh, so you open start and then type it in and press enter on this graphic settings. Um, Auto HDR I think is one of my favorite features. Um, and then you click change default graphic settings. Um, I think it's one of my favorite features of Windows 11 so far. So you turn on Auto HDR here, and then basically you're just good to go. If you click Read More About It, it'll just open like an article that you can read. Um, I didn't find this article that helpful. I just had to do some Googling instead to try to figure out what it meant, HDR versus Auto HDR. Um, I can tell a difference, though, watching YouTube videos, and I do think it makes like the colors on your laptop look quite a bit better. Uh, the new themes are cool instead of just backgrounds. So if you right click on the desktop you can get to it but I think it's easier to go to start and then type in themes and hit enter and then you have these themes here that are new and you can click through them to change them. Um, I think themes already existed but um, it's kind of called out in Windows 11 and I, I do think they look better. Um, the taskbar changes colors now also with the whole theme and um, I think it's just kind of seamless and looks cool. Um, again, I think those probably already existed though, um, but it does look well with the overall design of Windows 11. Uh, next, Android apps on the Windows Store. Let's open Windows Store. I didn't have this icon in the taskbar and it put it there for me. Uh, which I guess is good. Um, I had read that the Microsoft Store links up through Amazon and that's how you get Android apps. So I was trying to figure out it, like how I needed to link them together um, because I wasn't sure like how to set it up. So I just typed in like TikTok and I couldn't find it at first. Um, well, I guess it looks like it's right here, but for some reason it wasn't showing in here and then I just went home and I found it here on the main screen. So I have TikTok downloaded and Instagram which I'll talk about but I guess you don't need to do setup or at least I didn't and it was already uh, linked up together. So I don't know if maybe in the release we'll need to we'll need to set something up or not to to get them linked together so we can use Android apps. Um, Next on here, um, it seems like you can cast a lot of things to your TV. So like if I open TikTok, this is in my TikTok profile, um, you just right click and then click cast media to device and then it'll let you click your TV on here, whatever TV you have. Um, I 
in previous version of Windows, I definitely do not think that was that easy. Also, if you open Internet, um, it seems like you can cast more than one, like more than just uh, your Android apps to your TV. If you right click, you can click cast here, which doesn't look nearly as good as it did in the Windows apps, but it still seems to work just as well. And then click um, your TV and it'll put it up on there. Um, if you cast one of the apps, it'll have big black bars on the left and right hand side of the TV, uh, which I guess is okay. Um, and it also, that's just something to note that it doesn't show your background stuff also. It only shows the app that you're casting. Uh, next, um, just a note here that it seems like Microsoft is forcing uh, people to upgrade their system requirements. Um, people can no longer use Windows 32-bit. Uh, they have to use Secure Boot, you have to have TPM 2.0, and you also have to have a processor chip 8th generation or higher. Um, I know pretty much everybody's mad about that, which is understandable. Um, I kind of think it's uh, kind of a good thing because it forces people to upgrade their equipment a little bit. Of course, um, I know like a 7th generation processor that costs $300 or something is probably still good to go, but just kind of generally I think it's a, a good thing. Uh, the taskbar also is in the middle as you can see you can move it to the left if you want apparently um, I don't know how to do that it's probably pretty easy. Um, I think this is good a good change because um, of bigger monitor sizes um, also if you have like three monitors and you have it on the wrong screen or something or if you connect up your PC to your computer um, a, ta a taskbar in the middle I think is good especially if you have like a 75 inch TV or something. Um, something I don't like, uh, you can't open the volume in the bottom right anymore by just clicking the volume icon. You, It's grouped them all together basically and it created this separate little window. So like I wanted to change the volume earlier and you can't just click this and change the volume. It adds an extra click. I know that's small but um, it's just kind of an ease of access thing. Um, and you can't seem to drag it down to make it separate also to add like a separate little volume icon instead of having to click this like if you wanted to change it. Um, you might be able to change that somehow still but not that I've been able to find. Also the battery icon you can't click that anymore either. Um, so like I wanted to open this earlier and just make sure I wasn't in like power save mode and you can't like right click it and open those quick settings. Um, and even the battery on here, you can't, like if you right click that, it says edit quick settings. And if you click this, it opens the entire settings window. Um, so there's not like a quick way that I know of, um, of how to, to make sure you're not in like battery save mode anymore or like high performance mode or whatever. Um, next, uh, I know we've added Windows apps or Android apps to Windows 11, um, but I will say like, TikTok on a on a phone is is a much better design um, and a lot a lot um, a lot more fun I'll say uh, like I don't really want to sit here and scroll th and scroll through this like maybe if they made it look a lot more like TikTok on on the phone um, that would um, that would push users to want to use this more um, especially like if they if they got rid of all this white and focused a lot more on the videos I think that would be helpful. Um, I know that's not really a Windows thing, that's probably TikTok designed themselves, um, but yeah, I know that Windows 11 is trying to make phones and laptops a little more seamless, uh, have a little more seamless integration. Um, also, like, it's kind of, it's kind of hard, um, I don't want to click on this because I don't want to start the volume, but um, it's kind of hard to get these in full screen, like there's two different full screen methods, and especially if you're casting. Um, it's kind of confusing. Also, when you cast them, um, it doesn't it doesn't let you scroll vertically anymore. It has a horizontal click button, um, so you have to scroll horizontally through them, which is kind of different. So, okay, I'll stop talking about TikTok design not being good. Um, okay, so bugs I've noticed. Uh, Instagram app um, does not let you zoom in handily, so there's not like um, you can't just like zoom in easily like you can on the phone. Also, you can't save pictures on here, which I know is probably a good thing. Um, but just to mention, 
Um, if you have a touch screen, you can zoom in, um, but it zooms in like the entire window, um, like how I just showed you. Or if you, uh, in your browser, you can zoom here, but you can't zoom on like an individual picture. So I think that would uh, kind of hinder people from using Instagram a little bit on laptop or computer. Um, Instagram does let you cast your TV though, so that's a cool feature. Cast media to device. Um, that I like. Okay, so next, um, when I click this little, oh, another feature, um, two more features I forgot to talk about, is the the widgets thing. So if you click this icon, it opens this widget screen. I know that this was in one of the later updates of Windows 10. Um, I think it's helpful to see the weather, and I know you can customize it. Um, I think it would be cool if you could put these on your desktop. Um, I don't know, there might be a way you can do that. Um, I don't think all these news and things would be that helpful unless I was like sitting at work and like wasn't supposed to be on news or something and was able to open that, then I might like it. Um, another feature is being able to snap windows into a grid pattern. Um, apparently this is better than it was before. Um, I don't notice too much of a difference. Um, I guess it's supposed to be better. You can drag it. Um, let's see, like there's a corner and then, um, yeah, you can just put them in different positions. So I guess you can play around with that and see if you like it more than I do. Um, another bug I found is when you open this, uh, little, this little button here, um, I don't know what it's called. Then I see this thing called patch module. I think this might be, be because I'm in the developer mode of Windows 11 right now, um, but this patch module, I can't seem to get it to go away, um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, and it just always stays there, and it doesn't do anything. If I click on it, it just minimizes, so that's just something I noticed. Um, the widgets screen is blank for a bit sometimes when I open it, um, so not that one, this one. Yeah, I also keep forgetting what these icons do. That I don't know. That might be something to note. But sometimes when I click this, it's op it's just completely blank, and um, I have to click it like six times or so in order for it to do anything, or I have to wait like ten seconds before it'll open the news articles. Um, also, there's a tips section in Windows. Is another bug. Uh, this tips app. Um, it just says it's just blank in here and says coming soon one tip and if you click on that it just says tips coming soon and doesn't tell you any tips for windows so hopefully they'll fix that uh, some windows like task manager look like there's several open let me open task manager um, so like if I um, let's see I think well I forget how to get to it now but um, sometimes like how there's a single instance of task manager open sometimes like when I hover over this it looks like like there's a little uh, perforation here and it looks like there's several windows open but there's actually only one window open so that's something to note uh, next so in the in the pre in the videos for Windows 11 like the commercials and stuff it shows teams as having a different icon than this and it shows it in the in the bottom bar automatically um, well, it didn't add that icon automatically, and also the icon is different. It doesn't have that little icon that looks like like the purple FaceTime icon. Um, so I don't know where that is. Like maybe they just haven't put it in Windows 11 yet. But I tried to set up the handy dandy Teams integration, like they said, um, and it doesn't really like it's not. Like it's not good, um, like they have said it will be in the in the commercials and things. Um, it prompted me to sign up for a Teams account. It wouldn't let me sign up on the on the desktop client. I had to download the desktop client myself. It wasn't already downloaded, um, and then I it wouldn't let me create an account on here. So I had to go to the the web version to create an, a, a free account using my email. And now it won't let me sign in to Teams here. I've tried signing out and back in, and it won't let me sign in with the free account I created. So I just think that those things uh, will prompt people to not use Teams on here at all. I think it will be helpful that Teams integration on a on a work computer, 
but not not personally. Um, it did sound helpful having Teams do the backup of SMS that they had mentioned, but I can't seem to get it to um, get set up, so I can't test that out. Um, next, uh, let's see. Sometimes the search um, doesn't open. Like I click search, and it doesn't open the search bar at all um, on the window for like six times or so. Um, and I just a note, I had that happen when I had Google Chrome open. So Chrome was open and it, search wouldn't open. So I'm sure they'll fix that in the major release, but something to note for now. Uh, sometimes the up and down resize cursor is stuck on the settings page. So on settings, um, I would open settings and then it would just be like this cursor here that resize for up and down was just stuck on the entire page and it wouldn't let me click off that cursor or anything. Um, that cursor was just uh, omnipresent there. So that's a bug. Uh, next, um, you, so I tested tablet mode. Uh, I have, I'm on a two-in-one device here. Uh, YouTube in tablet mode on this two-in-one shows a white bar at the top um, of the screen. It's like two millimeters long. Um, also, it's only there sometimes when I'm in full screen mode, and then sometimes it's on the left hand side. So, hopefully, they'll fix that. Um, next, also, I see a scroll bar that's always there on the right hand side that's like a Windows XP scroll bar, like really old um, and old style st scroll bar. And sometimes I'll see two scroll bars over there on the right. So, hopefully, they'll fix that. Uh, Photos app um, on the two in one. The I heard that with Windows 11, the Photos app was supposed to be faster, um, like turning your device around and things, but it just seemed pretty buggy and it didn't seem like there were any fixes. Well, I don't have any pics in here right now to show you, but like when I would flip my laptop around into tablet mode, um, it uh, would still seem buggy, um, which maybe they weren't trying to fix it, but I don't know, like pictures would rotate the wrong direction and you couldn't really fix them well without like turning the photo itself and then it still seemed buggy when you would flip it around a different direction uh, for a different setup. Uh, also sometimes just like on the desktop and things my mouse lags um, so like I'll just be moving moving it and then it will be behind a, a click and kind of jump to catch up. Um, so that'll probably be fixed in the in the final update. Um, also, the brightness up and down um, is kind of jumpy and glitchy sometimes um, due to the auto HDR. So that's just something small to note um, that it's not really like smooth and yeah, due to the auto HDR being turned on. So overall, um, I think that Windows 11 has some, some uh, good features added. Um, I do recommend upgrading. Um, I don't recommend going out and buying an entirely new like motherboard to get Windows 11. Um, I think Windows 10 works just fine. But if you if you like overall design of things, um, like looking pretty, I think you might like Windows 11. Um, and again, my my favorite feature in here is Auto HDR. Uh, probably second favorite feature is being able to uh, cast some of the Android apps to your TV. Um, also being able to cast uh, like Google Chrome to your TV and then also being able to share articles from your phone to your laptop. Um, of course that's not that good because you have to use Microsoft Edge for it uh, which I don't like because I don't like Edge um, but yeah it still might be helpful so thanks for watching.